from from your perspective we just wanted an idea about you know to explain to our readers who Gianluca is well um, <laughs> that's a difficult question <laughs> I have so much to say um, <laughs> well basically um, I'm 23 years old um, I'm representing Malta in this, this year's revision and the song tomorrow and uh, I am the third of seven siblings and I come from a very musical family and in fact, in fact uh, anyone who wants can, can listen to the family version of tomorrow as well on iTunes um, because all my siblings sing. And I'm also a graduated doctor, a medical doctor, and I graduated last, last November. And I'm currently working in geriatrics, but I'm soon starting surgery just as a placement. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I like, I like uh, doing other stuff other than singing, I like football, I like uh, traveling, I like different things. That's basically okay. <laughs> so, so how did how did the how did the music work? I mean, when you were a kid, were you what 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 was did you have musical influences then? Well, um, as, I, as I mentioned, uh, my, I come from a very musical family. My grandfather used to used to sing. Um, however, everyone at home does it as a, as a hobby. I mean, not, none of us is actually a full-time singer or full-time musician. Um, uh, we do it just just for fun. But since I was very young, um, uh, basically I grew, I grew up uh, singing every day, dancing every day. I mean, no, not that I dance, but <laughs> but um, uh, in a musical environment. Sort of. I I had never sung uh, as a soloist before. I was 16 years old. I mean, in front of an audience. I mean. And uh, always, after I was in at sixth form in college, and, uh, and I sang this always for the first time, uh, and then I, there was no looking back, you know. Um, um, my was this a public? Is, was this a public performance? That you it was. Did? A, it was at school. I mean, yeah, at school, at, at sixth form, just in front of uh, maybe 150 people. 150 and do you remember what you sang? Yes, I had sung nothing else. What is oh, by my Metallica and uh, and an original song. Um, that we had written back in back in six four. That was eight years ago. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and then since then, I, I, I'm also part of a band, Funk Initiative. And uh, we, our music is basically indie slash funk. <laughs> and uh, that's basically my my singing career. I was never uh, known as a solo artist in Malta before last February when I actually won the revision, because that was my first appearance as a the solo artist. <laughs> I, I sort of rose to fame in one day. Okay. <laughs> <That's Jan Luka. laughs> so so how did you end up how did how Doing did you move from well no how did you move from so si at sixteen you sang what mm. and you then you were part of a group. So how did that develop from there? Well um uh, since I oh, the band from Hitchcock started when when I was 16, 17, and since then we've been releasing singles and uh, basically writing songs to compile an album. And however, um, uh, that, that that project is still going on. I mean, it's still uh, I'm still part of the band, and I'm still. However, I I just wanted to do something different, something more uh, more of being myself, sort of. So I decided to started this project, a side project as a solo artist. I started as a side project, now it's become the main sort of, because <laughs> the revision is quite a, a big thing, especially in Malta. So. Um, uh, but I'm, uh, now I'm looking forward to, to maybe have my own, as Gianluca, I mean, as my own, my own EP, my own album, my own songs, and so, so hopefully it's, uh, the revision will be a kickstart to, to my solo career as well. Um, however, I, I don't plan on leaving the band or, you know, or putting it aside. And I just I just want to uh, balance in between the solo aspect and the, and the band aspect of my singing career, not not um, uh, hindering sort of the medical career. <laughs> That's my main job. <laughs> okay. So so what type of music are you singing? Um, uh, the song I'm singing in the revision tomorrow is quite a happy feel good song. However, the the kind of music I like as a soloist um, is usually the Michael Bublé kind of brass band kind of feel, you know. The, the but it's quite jazz, a quite, yeah. 
So is it is it jazz stroke blues? Yes, yeah, yes, yes. I love that style. I love, I love singing that kind of music because it makes me feel like um, chill, relaxed. Like, you know, I love it. Frank Sinatra, Michael Bublé. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the people, you know, the people back home, um, are, are they really hoping that uh, you're going to make a big success at Eurovision now? Well, uh, I must say, I have had a, I've had a lot of positive feedback um, back home. I mean, yeah, there's a third comment saying, I feel this is a good year, I feel this is a right year to, to maybe have a good, maybe win the Eurovision, you know? But um, <laughs> though I, I want to do my best and I want to do my, the best for my country and you know, represent Malta in the best way possible, and, uh, I don't have. Expectation, how can I say? And, uh, I do, I wish we could we win, I wish we, we place very high, very high up, but and, uh, I just do my best, I enjoy it, have fun, and we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully, all of Europe will like the song. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it, uh, the song itself is, is quirky, it's not it's not a normal kind of Maltese yeah. song, is it? Not really, no, no. Not if you compare it with the songs that have no. been played in, or been performed in the last few years. And in fact, I think that that's what, what actually made it stand out in the Maltese family because that's it's different, it's fresh, it's something you know, original. You know, so, so. so, when you were when you performing it for the video, how, how long did the video? take to make? Uh, about three, four days. Mm -hmm. not too long. Because, because it's got a real happy feel yes, about yes, it, hasn't yes. it? Uh, in fact, we really, really, really enjoyed filming the video. And we had a great time. And where yeah. was it shot? Was it in, it's all in, in different sites in Malta. Okay, because everywhere looks so green in it. <laughs> know, it's it's uh, the start of spring, so it is the start of spring, so it's, uh, it is green in Malta at the moment. Yeah. Then in summer it starts, it's so hot that it starts becoming <laughs> brown again. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Everything dry. But, but at the moment, Malta is, is lovely. It's, mm -hmm. it's a lovely place to visit. <laughs> yeah. So, what would, you know, if you won Eurovision, mm -hmm. what would that mean to you? Well, uh, <clears throat> To me, it would definitely, as a Gianluca, it would definitely mean the start of a, of a proper singing career. Of a, it would definitely give, give me loads of opportunities, maybe to sign a record with, uh, you know, and, uh, which would mean maybe setting, putting aside my medical career for some time. And uh, it would be a fantastic adventure, and I'm sure I, I, would, I would definitely embark on it. <laughs> And when, when you step on the, when you step on the stage in Malmo and you sing, what will you be thinking about? <laughs> I think I'll be dying. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'll, I'll I'll survive the stress. Um, uh, however, as I as I said, I, I want to do my best just to just to honor my country. I mean, just to sort of uh, give thanks to all the people who supported me. Since, since the family, you know, since the Maltese family, um, as I found a lot of support and, and help from my family, from friends, from and your family, family. Be, your family yes, will be, your family will be, your family will be happy that they will, they'll be happy that you follow a musical career. Yes, course, yeah. yes. I mean, anything that makes me happy will make them happy for sure. Good. <laughs> oh, that's marvelous. And what, finally, just uh, what, um, uh, what do you think is going to come second? Then? Him, what do you mean? To you in the in Maltese in in the Eurovision final, ah, which no. song do you like? I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> say I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> but however, I, I I love Iceland, the Iceland song, I got it. Um, uh, I love. I have a soft spot for Armenia because I, I've been there and uh, I I love the final. I love uh, Goris Goris Jan, the singer. Um, uh, Georgia is quite a nice song. Denmark has a, a, a really good song. So there's quite a lot of competition, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just enjoy it and, and hope for the best. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.